Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's always great to see you, Dr. Hayden, and, and thank you for your good work. Um, I think you're doing an excellent job at the Library of Congress and in modernizing its operations uh, just in the brief time I've been in here. But I wanted to uh, talk about um, when I was chair of the Appropriations Subcommittee of Legislative, Legislative Branch uh, for two years, um, I went back and looked at some of the legislative language that we had in our Appropriation uh, Subcommittee report. Uh, our report in uh, FY 2016 recounted GAO's finding that, quote, a lack of central leadership and oversight at the library resulted in duplicative, overlapping, and inefficient IT policies and investments. And again, in 2017, our report noted that the IG's finding that the library failed to have, quote, an organization-wide independent strategy for digital collection activities and that the goal of addressing a digital collection strategy was not included in the library-wide strategic plan or its information um, technology strategic plan. Indeed, at that time, the library was seeking funding for a digital collection management unit, even though there was no comprehensive study. And not bringing these up to rehash problems of the past, but to highlight how much progress has been made. Um, Dr. Hayden, you, you have already uh, implemented 95%, and Mr. Barton just talked about the remaining 5% of the tasks. So as we talk about this, Dr. Hayden, could you uh, kind of flesh out a little bit how this is uh, uh, impacting the public, how the public is, is benefiting now and will in the future from having access to the, uh, to the digital access to the library's co collections? How, how is this impacting Americans just in general? In general, mm -hmm. what Americans and people worldwide will be able to do is have more access to the library's collections digitally. They will be able to download photographs uh, that are copyright uh, uh, free, and they will be able to have visual exhibits on their mobile devices. They will be able to record uh, their veterans history projects and send them to the library. They will be able to also use congress.gov and get up-to-date righty government information that is available to all citizens. The variety of opportunities that information technology provides in terms of opening up what we call the treasure chest of the mm -hmm. Library of Congress are, are in a just amazing when you think about seeing Rosa Parks, the exhibit is going to open in December, uh, her handwritten mm -hmm. notes, and seeing Thomas Jefferson's draft of the in Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. And we have invited the public to help us transcribe letters to Abraham Lincoln by the People Project, so oh. they can actually be part of helping history come alive. So yeah, I was going to ask you about the By, by the People by Project. By the People, it's been wonderful. We launched it uh, with the anniversary of the Gettysburg Address, and we had high schoolers come in. Uh, we found that they're, the uh, aspect of reading cursive writing gave us opportunities for intergenerational <laughs> pro programs where you have uh, more mature people uh, reading the cursive and the young people doing the computers. Uh, we were able to have 27,000 letters to Abraham Lincoln that had not been reviewed in decades or seen by people oh, except for very, Were they written to him as president? Up. They were written to Abraham Lincoln. How exciting. And the yeah. hook for young people was the fact that they were making something by transcribing. They were taking something that hadn't been read since 1864 available for everyone to see. And so of those 27,000, all were transcribed. So that really, without the digital access, a project like that would... it, it couldn't have happened. And so the fact that we were able to, and Congress has supported the IT modernization at the library, right. has had so many benefits in terms of making the library more useful, inspirational for so many people. And then with the copyright, uh, modernizations, you will have people who can search historic records, they can file and register online, people are buying cars 
on their online, and now they'll be able to register uh, quickly, search records, do different things with the entire copyright system. It'll be an integrated system, so technology, and we really appreciate the support that Congress has given us. Thank you for that. Thank you, Mr. Chair.